Hey guys, welcome back to the Adventure <laughs> Channel. So, today we stopped off at Silver Springs here in Silver Spring, Florida. We're on our way down to Orlando Disney. for a couple of days for uh, for Disney. But uh, we wanted to check this place out. This is a very iconic spring here that's uh, that was established back in the 1870s. And they have glass bottom boat tours here. And they say this is where the invention of the glass bottom boat started, was right here in Silver Spring. They've been doing it since then, haven't they? Yeah, since then, since Amazing. the 1870s. So we're going to go check it out, do the glass bottom uh, boat tour, and uh, see some nature, hopefully see some fish and some cool wildlife. And it's supposed to be really beautiful here, so I got the camera. We're going to take a video and enjoy this little adventure today, all right? Beautiful going down through here. This whole area of Florida is full of the... Uh, a lot of the trees, the oak trees that have the moss hanging out of it, it's just a such a beautiful place. All right, we just got in the park. That's the uh, entrance right there, real pretty. So it is two dollars a person to get in, just to get in and walk around if you want. The boat rides are twelve dollars each, so it's uh, fourteen dollars each person to get in and do a thirty-minute boat ride. And there's tractors over there with blowers going. <laughs> there's always that going whenever I do my videos. Uh, they do offer an extended boat tour also, which is 90 minutes, and it was $25 a person for that. But we're just going to do the 30-minute tour today. It's pretty nice. It definitely, definitely has an old-school feel to it to me. Like it's, you know, it developed, I don't know, back in the 60s or 70s or so with some upgrades. There's the, uh, there's the spring there. We'll be starting out over here on our boat ride. All right, we're just gonna chill out here for a minute and have us a uh, beer before we get started. Abby's got her a Mick Ultra. This is a Vega Blonde Ale made by First Magnitude Brewing Company out of Gainesville, Florida. So I always like to try the local beers. We're gonna give that a shot. This is a Blonde Ale, by the way. So there's the uh, boats right over there. We'll, uh, we'll go take us a ride here in a bit. Are you ready for it? You know I am. Good. This is so pretty, man. You can see the, the clear water out there. It's crystal clear. The reason that looks dark is just because of like the grass and vegetation down in the bottom. You can see just how clear it is there. Look at that. So pretty. Originally designed to carry 35 passengers and they're only licensed for 26 now. So. Now they call this one Spring of Stars because so many movie stars have been here over the years. I'm going to pass that movie list down to you. Pass that around the boat whenever you're done with it. You have the entire trip there to look at it, so take your time. The first movie was filmed here in 1916 called The Seven Swans, and it was a black and white silent movie. From there we had several other very well-known movies and TV series. My family's favorite was a few James Bond movies that were filmed here. And as we go back in today, I'll take you right over to area where they did film a few of those James Bond movies here. Never Say Never Again, Moonraker, and Thunderball. It sure is, and that's where the preacher came out of, that limestone ledge there. 
these smaller fish here, Brim and Bluegill. Big large Bluegill. You see the spring right there when it comes out. Snowstorm kind of reminds me of one of those plastic snow globes. We've got a couple turtles here on our left as we make this turn our port side here as well. This is actually limestone that's coming up out of the spring, and that's been eroded away because of the movement of the water as well as the pH level or alkalinity level. The Florida snowstorm. Very cool. There's a list of how many movies were filmed here. Look at Ocala Silver Springs film filmography. So 1916 was the first one. That was the first one. Really cool. Up here on our right up in the trees, there's uh, several birds up there nesting. Those are cormorants and, and hangos. They're water diving birds. Those are the ones that are nicknamed snake birds because when they dive underwater and you see their head pop up, they do kind of resemble that of a snake up there. Water table and I guess that's it right there. Mm -hmm. It's about Indian dug up canoe. Higher than it was before Hurricane Irma at Dorian. Feet is the maximum depth. And the blue color there is because of the mineral content. That is naturally occurring. Blue growing. It is, and it looks like a mansion. I know a lot of people think that it is. It's called Twin Oaks Mansion. It was built in 1987 for the concerts here. Last big concert for 2014, 15, and 16. Montgomery Gentry, Willie Nelson, and Garth Brooks, the last big concert there. You can bring any kayak, any boat you want. There's no... Sure, yeah, you can run up here, too. We're up right by the parking lot. There's a uh, kiosk over there. And uh, they run the company that I work for runs those as well. Little blue heron here to our left. That's a cousin to the great blue heron. Little blue heron. There's a gator right there. to the, uh, the headwater spring, It'll be right over here. 550 million gallons of water every day. At the base of this rock wall is the actual spring vent. It's called Mammoth Springs. Out of that ledge there, it's 
the it's actual spring vent, the opening itself is about five feet high, more than 65 feet across. The water flows out of there four to five miles per hour, eventually making its way to the Atlantic Ocean up in Jacksonville via the St. Jones River. As we turn the boat here, you folks on the left should be able to see that big ledge down there as well, right at the base of this rock wall. So the maximum depth here, 55 feet. For those of you that are James Bond fans, the end of Thunderball is filmed right here. They actually pan the entire spring vent right here for the end of Thunderball. Most of those underwater fight scenes were filmed here as well. We're going to head towards the dock. We're going to go over three statues as we do. Keep your eyes open for them. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. They're in 30 feet of water, standing 7 feet tall. They were originally created for I Spy back in 1967. They were then used at Moonraker in 1979. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. That was pretty cool. Very lovely ride. I actually had a uh, fantastic seat in the boat to be able to get so much footage for you. But it was awesome. So I don't know if you heard it on the video, but if you do the extended tour on the weekends, you can see manatees and monkeys. That's right. I had no idea if about I the monkeys. Known that, <laughs> you would have been. We, today's <laughs> Thursday, so we didn't we didn't do the extended tour. But they estimate there's about 200 monkeys here in the park and about 800 total from Tampa to Jacksonville. All right, so go on the tour and let us know how, if you saw manatees and, and monkeys. So That's right. <laughs> this is pretty right here. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is where the, uh, the uh, headwater spring is, just right there. have us a seat we just got us another beer sit here and uh, chill out for a minute super cool chill spot right here and the uh, rocking chairs just hanging out and uh, Abby wanted to make sure that we share this this is a little map they give you whenever you come in well, let, me come, let me come out here yep well, we wanted to point out they have a lot of walking trails they do Lots hiking of, and a lot of nice hiking trails. It's so windy out here and it's lovely. Oh yeah, and it's <laughs> by the way, it's uh, it's in the mid 80s right now, it so is. it is pretty warm. This is uh, even for this time of year, it's a little warm. I forget what day this is. Thursday. Thursday, February the 13th, I think. No idea. So anyway, there's a, there's a look at the park right there. Lots of stuff to do. You can bring your own boats, or I think you can come in with your boats, but you can uh, bring your kayaks and stuff here as well. They also rent them. Yeah, they do. They got uh, kayaks, paddle boards, that oh, kind yeah, of stuff. Oh yeah, here's a lot Canoes. more um, walking trails or hiking trails. Oh yeah, a lot of more of the, a lot more hiking there as well. Yeah, this place is really sweet. It's uh, it's not far from Orlando either. I think we're about an hour north of Orlando from this point right now, which is. Where we're headed next. You can also bring your horse. How come we didn't bring our horse? We don't have a horse, but. Don't have a horse there, <laughs> but yeah, they got horse trails yeah. there as well. And we've passed by several areas that were designated for horse uh, we did. trail riding. We did. We did. It was a place that kind of looked like a state park, but it was a it was a horse riding park where people bring. There was people pulling in there with their trailers and had their horses and take them out and you go horseback riding down these can trails. Can I talk you into that one? Possibly. I've never really cared for riding horses myself. I love horses. They always kind of terrified me a little bit. I'm instantly going to get thrown off as soon as I get on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're going to finish our beer. We uh, got us another cold one. And then we're going to uh, head on into uh, Silver Springs, which is just right here, and have us some lunch. Enjoy the rest of our day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right. Come here, it's beautiful. It is.
not quite done yet we're gonna take a little walk down to this side of the spring it's just so pretty right there I just took a picture I was just sitting right over there and it just looks so beautiful with the flowers I think these are azaleas and the moss the blue sky and the spring behind it this is Florida a lot of people they just think Disneyland or I'm sorry Disney World in Miami but there's a lot to Florida that is just so beautiful from the uh, northern Gulf Coast sandy white beaches to the springs all through Florida it's an amazing state Oh, you saw the gator sign. <laughs> no swimming. Gators are present. Oh, yeah, this is pretty. The colors just look amazing on the GoPro from right here. Got fish jumping out there. I can never capture how pretty something is on the on video at uh, ever. I mean it I know it it's going to look good, but you got to come to these places in person and yeah. see it. So you guys headed down to Disney World, stop by this place on the way down and check it out. You'll really love it.